Ready? All right, quick. Plant the garlic. <laughs> We've had some other garlic planting videos that I just kind of wanted to revisit the issue because I think a lot of people don't know about our garlic planting prowess. Prowess. We do it all the time and um, it's really easy. There's a couple of tricks I'm going to show you right now. First, I got to throw the ball. You are quick enough. You can either order garlic, I got this from Fillory Farm, or you go to your farmer's market and they had some great hard neck large bulb garlic. I think it's a German, German rock and bowl perhaps, or a German crystal maybe, or a German hard neck is more of a generic term for this. Easiest thing in the world, just separate the cloves. Sometimes you have to, um, I break the stem back a little bit just to make it easier to separate this. Focus. Some people <laughs> say to split these apart and let them dry overnight. I don't do that. It's four o'clock in the afternoon and we're planting. It's gonna be dark in like 10 minutes. Because we have to go to work tomorrow. So. <laughs> All right, here's the short version. Garlic clove, trowel. This is like six inches, so we wanna go about three down. That flat part goes down. The flat part goes down. That's important, right? So take a rake or some other straight object, and I just lay it in the garden bed like this, and then I just kind of make a, just a line in the, in the soil. Your average garden soil works quite fine. Then I just break apart the cloves. Great to have some friends help you with this. Labradors won't. You throw the ball. <laughs> what kind of farmer are you, girl? So regular garden soil, I put um, compost and manure in. It's the fall right now, so I mixed this in a couple weeks ago. Now you take that, that distance mm -hmm. and you space your garlic. So from where we first planted our garlic, from this hole here, we go here. And you work your way up. And we work our way up. And when will we notice little garlic's growing? All right, big issue here. The ideal time to plant your garlic is two weeks before a hard frost, but you don't know when that hard frost is. So a lot of times people plant it early and it starts to sprout in the fall and that's totally okay because that growing tip, it's going to get burned back when the snow actually falls and the frost hits. Okay. But then in the spring, it's going to regrow again and you'll be totally fine. But if I don't see any new growth before the first frost, that's okay too? Yeah. All right. The whole idea here is to have it start growing in late winter underground. Then when it starts to melt, it pops up and you're good to go. The best time to plant garlic is in the fall. You can plant it in the spring. I've never done it, but people say they do and it does okay. But in the fall is the best time. Root end goes down. Do, are there any animals that like to eat the garlic during the winter? One of the beauties of growing garlic is it has very few pests. Um, I mean, I love it. I, garlic is actually used as a pest repellent in the garden. You know, people mash up garlic with some dishwashing liquid and some oil and they'll put it in a sprayer as a repellent. Hmm. No, it's kind of, uh, it's one of the easiest things to grow, especially in cold winter climates. I don't know much about growing garlic in hot weather, okay? But this goes in, that could go a little deeper actually. What about soft neck garlic? What's that all about? Soft neck garlic is actually grown in warmer areas of like California. Uh, we grow hard necks which have usually one or two rings of cloves around a central stem. And the soft necks um, have multiple rings of smaller cloves. Hard necks have bigger cloves usually. Uh, soft necks have smaller ones, but soft necks will store longer than hard necks do. So we have to eat our garlic. Yep. Not a problem. Quick. Fertilizer. I just use a pelletized organic time release fertilizer, just a simple spread over the whole bed, really. That works just fine. Again, you've been adding compost, um, maybe some composted manure, leaf mold, all sorts of good stuff to your garden all the time. So, What's that supposed to add? Uh, this adds just some simple nitrogen, potassium, and the other one. The other good thing. And PK. Potassium, nitrogen, and... I thought PK was potassium. What's the K? Anyway, you'll tell me below. You better edit that out. Yeah. The big question now 
is mulch. A lot of people will mulch with hay or straw. I think hay is a big red flag because hay has weed seeds in it. And what you're gonna get in the spring is a ton of weeds. It's gonna choke out the garlic that wants to grow. You can put straw down, but I don't. I just, I think it's kind of a pain. And straw, even straw, which is the stem of the wheat plant, can have wheat seeds still attached to it. That will grow and come up. So here's what I do, okay? What do you do? Wow. So this is some great leaf mulch I mulched up with my mower, and then I just raked it all up. And this is a great um, garlic mulch, I think. And I literally just, you're just covering the whole bed. And the garlic will push right up through that, and you're good to go. So this video is about how to plant your garlic. We also have a bunch of videos about how to care and harvest for your garlic, which is equally important. And the ball, sorry. All right, links are at the end of the show, in the show notes below. They don't want to get the garlic, they want to get the tennis ball. Ha, 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 ha.